AI will be here today to tell you how to not suck at NHL 17. I know a lot of you guys do suck already, but this is a tips and tricks video to help you not suck. We will be choosing the puck moving defenseman. I will be the right defenseman as Boston rules. My player name will be Rasmus Ristolan, and I'll show you some tips and tricks throughout the game. So at the first face off, you always got to keep that last guy behind you, no matter what, unless you're pinching up. See, there's they had a lot of offensive pressure. You stay back in your zone, try not to force a pass. But the goalie is a little bit out of position, and he cuts to the middle. Center should be there, but can't really blame him with the goal the effort the goalie just put in there pretty weak goal always try to hold that blue line never let anyone behind you and here I pinched up because I saw no one was really there you just try to force it to the net and you always got to try to get back to the blue line I was going to go for it there but it would be too risky not safe but so we'd end up getting puck back Blue and Teal kind of messes up, and so does the goalie. Leaves that far side wide open, just easy goal. So here, I always keep my keep the backbone of the defense. Always stay behind the play, and we do get the breakout. Here, I always try to force some stick lifts. Poke checks are good, but you can't really do anything there with a goalie effort like that. But it, started, it gets better. Not as much goals throughout. Here I decide to bring it in. See Red's back. Though he's AFK. He should be back. Just try to find an open man. We did with Green. We end up getting a good shot. With Red in the middle. But he hits off the bar. We end up keeping the puck. With this four check. I'm always holding the blue line, never letting anyone behind me. We do get another shot off though, but it is saved. So Red is going to win this face off. It's going to be to Teal. He's going to hit it off the bar, and Yellow's not me. He's going to get it. I see an opportunity. Just try to get it straight to the net. It's a lucky bounce. And you never know. Could be a goal. Yeah, just got to get lucky. It's probably a goaltender interference here. There's nothing you can really do about that. You just got to try to force it in the net. Poke checks in front of the net and all that. It's all good. So. <clears throat> and, wait. I think, it, yeah, it does end up being a goal. Which is good. So it's 3-1 now. But that's not the point of the video. It's defensive tips. Got to hold that guy to the blue line. And this is why you do it. When your other defenseman partner fucks up, you got that. You try to, you gotta try to block that pass. Did not do it as well there, but we still got it out of the zone. Having a little trouble finding that pass, but we do find it. Red and Red gets a good shot. Of we come up in the zone, force the puck back to ourselves. Wide open lanes, wide open pass to Green. Green could not force a pass there, and then just do it. And if it looks like they were going to have a big break out there, so I just chopped it back in. That's always a great play. That could also be used as a pass, too. Always try to keep that slot clogged. Don't want any easy goals or easy tips and things like that. A tip is to hold X in front of the net, and that ties them up. You'll see that in the later clip. I do get the puck out. I'm having a little trouble, but I see the whole right side is open, so it doesn't matter if it gets to no one. Got closed, so we pass it up to Green. And it does not matter that he turned it over because we still got two guys back. And I take away that angle because there's no so there's no far side shot. So we end up with a breakout. The blue goes off sides. So I'm forcing it behind the net. See Teal wide open. He messes up, but we're always back. And find a way. Saw the right side. Here's what I was talking about holding the X. Even if you hold X, you get that stick lift. And that stopped an easy goal. And here's a great play, that long flip. You never know what can happen. And because of that, we got that easy assist. I would be pretty upset with that too. If the book if the puck just took a bounce like that against us. But they've already had three cheap goals. We deserve one, two. 
So always keeping that guy behind us. Blue. I mean, Teal went for the hit, missed it, but we're back. No easy passes. Don't let him force anything down low. Let Teal deal with that. And we're always covering that slot in the middle, and that's why. And we're going to go behind the net. And because of this, we get a good breakout. See, here's the blue. Our pass gets blocked, but I saw that blue was offside, so I held it. So, and we got a good pass to green. See if he passes it back. No, no. See, on those situations, you want your guy to pass back to you. Yeah, like that. Then you get opportunities like that. Red missed an easy opportunity, but it's not his fault. It's EA's. And we're just staying back here, making sure. Push him off sides, which is always a good play. And if you're a defensive class like Enforcer, or Enforcer's not even that bad, but if you're like Enforcer, Defensive, or even a two way, you're going to be able to crush him. Always stay back in the play. It's not going to be a good shot, but Teal pokes it in. Never do that. And this is what I meant by holding X. Holding X, you tie up the guy like that, and because of that, he could not get an easy shot. So we need we don't need a goal, but I'm gonna push up on this play a bit and just dump it in. And we always cover the point, and that's why. And we cover the point because of the right side. If it goes on the boards, it's easier. And Teal just has a miss miscue and doesn't really do anything on defense. So when and Green gets an open shot and scores. So you always hold to the very right side or very left side of the boards because most of the time, uh, that's a crushing hit we had, just stalked them. So you always hug the boards. So if a puck, most of the pucks come up the sides of the boards, and if you can stop those plays, that's where mo you can keep most pucks in by staying towards the right, very, very far right and very, very far left. So trying to find some open passes, no one's really open. Just cut around, find blue wide open on the right side. He could not tuck it, but it was still a good opportunity. We do need some goals, though. See, Teal's up, so I cover the middle. And that's why you always keep the last guy behind you. So don't get an easy shot. They had no easy shot there. Just split the defense and saw there was an open lane, took it. Saw it's a delayed penalty, so why not? And I got this shot, and I rang it off the bar, of course. Could have put us back in the game, but screw that. See on the power play. So we're going to be a little more offensive, seeing that Teal's back. See that Teal's still back, so we're going to push up a bit. We get that one-timer. But it was blocked, but we still got a good shot off of it. And, and the AI covered us. And this is why you always stay back. And you gotta force them with those poke checks. And don't ever poke check from behind because that's a retarded way to score, to uh, get a penalty. So always cover that slot no matter what. The center, it's the center's job and your job. Your job is more to cover towards the bottom of the right circle and the center's job is the more to cover the slot. But if the center is playing more offensive, you got to cover that slot and towards the right, and that's Teal's responsibility too. We're just trying to get some goals here. Blue cannot like receive the pass. It's a little bit of Blue's fault for moving, and we were just trying to score a goal, leaving our defense vulnerable. It's going to happen when you're down by two goals. doesn't matter if you're down by three. Blue gets shot, but there's only four seconds left. And... Yeah, that's the game. It was not that good of a game, but we did have a good defensive. We were good at defense that game. We did not let up any. All their goals were BS. They did not have any good scoring opportunities. Most of their goals were because of a defensive miscue by the left defenseman. And we kept the right side asleep. They did nothing. We also generated a lot of offense and if you just follow those tips hold always hold the right side of the boards always cover the slot always hug the blue line and only pinch when it's very needed 
don't pinch whenever you can because something surprising might happen and people will get behind you. Never let anyone behind you. And that is all for today. I will do a winner and a center one up soon. Bye. Uh, by the way, here are some words of encouragement that I sent to my teammate after the game. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you come back for more.